My dad was a wooden boat builder, an avid sports fisherman, and an outdoorsman. So needless to say, uh, I grew up on the water. My brother and I rescued a, our first outboard from a garbage dump when I was 10, and we got it running again. And uh, boy, we sure had a lot of fun with that old outboard. Now, I would have never guessed uh, 50 years later, my love of boating would lead to my livelihood and such high adventure. Mercury founder Carl Kakoffer was a brilliant engineer and mechanical visionary who realized the importance of racing and the promotion and development of his products. He ran a highly successful NASCAR team in the 50s. Building stock cars and racing the NASCAR circuit was also my passion and livelihood for 20 years and we were the first Canadians to win a major NASCAR race and that was at Riverside, California in 1971. And we had many other track records and NASCAR wins to our credit. Working uh, with in the auto racing business or any racing business for that matter, uh, one develops a keen eye for quality, uh, performance and reliability. Uh, so Mercury engines have always been a no-brainer and, and I've owned a lot of them. Fast forward to the year 2000 and my company has transitioned from building NASCAR stock car chassis to marine suspension seating to protect high-speed vessel crews from wave impacts. Just like in auto racing, there's a lot of competition and to stay ahead of the pack, we really rely on our test program to test the performance and durability of our uh, products. We test in a wide variety of conditions from uh, white caps to huge swells and all at maximum speed. Well, needless to say, once we learned how to isolate and protect the helmsman and vessel occupants from shock, we equipment, and that includes the engines. I don't think there's anyone out there who pounds outboards like we do, and that's just the nature of our business. our vessels from my home in Victoria, British Columbia to Glacier Bay, Alaska. And this was an epic adventure with encounters with submerged logs and with whales and with storms. The trip climaxed with a record 450 mile run down the entire Pacific coast in just 10 hours. And it was pretty impressive increase both uh, from speed and fuel economy wise. We're always looking for the ultimate test for our seating technology and that opportunity presented itself in 2010 when uh, TV Adventure Group Bear Grylls contacted me. He needed an open rib to make a record-breaking 8,000 mile assault on the Northwest Passage. You know, we might have new seas tomorrow. Yeah. We'll be kicking ourselves when we're doing three hours. Okay, okay. Yeah, what, what are we doing now? For this mission, we chose the 300 horsepower Verado because of what they offered in power, reliability, and fuel economy. Well, talk about getting more than you bargained for. On August 17, 2010, we departed St. John's, Newfoundland, uh, in Canada. And uh, the Arctic is a pretty mean place to go boating. The north is vast. Landscape filled with uh, uncharted shoals. There's uh, unpredictable weather, there's unpredictable ice flows, there's dense fog. Uh, we had to stay on schedule in order to make our crucial fuel rendezvous uh, outrun weather and outrun the pack ice. This meant maintaining an average speed of 35 knots non-stop for three days at a time. Navigating through icebergs, pack ice and whales in fog during the night and day at speed was uh, a terrifying and always humbling experience. 3.30 in the morning! the narrow passage between Alaska and Russia. Bering Sea lived up to its reputation as the weather kitchen of Alaska and we were stuck in a storm 200 miles from shore. We were tired, uh, we were low on fuel and uh, even worse weather was approaching and we needed to get to the Aleutians. Uh, this was no time for an engine failure. We needed all three engines running to maintain position speed and to maintain our fuel economy. We used every bit of the Verado's awesome thrust to claw our way to safety. Just huge, huge waves and swells. August 17th, we reached our destination in Victoria, British Columbia, 8,000 miles in just 300 hours. Everywhere I go, I get asked, how do you like the Mercs or why do you use Mercs? Well, this is a difficult one to put into uh, just a few words. 
When you've used a product for 50 years and you trust your life and livelihood to it, I think it really says it all. And we'll be using Mercury's for many years to come.